Hello and um, welcome. Uh, we are going to solve a math IB studies question uh, for Pearson's correlation coefficient. The kind of questions that the IB is asking nowadays for the for math studies in this topic are kind of always the same in a way. Uh, in this case, for example, we have the two variables that are travel time and stress rating, and we must get the for for example in question I. The, we, we must write down the value of the linear correlation coefficient, that Pearson's coefficient. So we're going to go to our Casio calculator, and we're going to go to the statistics menu, that's menu number two. And first step, we're going to introduce our data as columns. X, y, uh, the x variable will be in list one. So we start by introducing the values 13, then 24, OK, then 22, 18, 36. 16, 14, 20, uh, 6, and 12. Okay, and now with this button, we go to the second list and we're going to write the variable y. So we're going to write 3, execute, then 7, okay, just like that. 5, 4, 8, 8, 4, 8, 2, sorry, 2, go back, 2, and 6. Okay. Now we have our data inside the calculator. The first step to calculate Pearson's correlation coefficient is uh, pressing the button calc, but you must always check your settings that you are right. So go to the settings, check for two variables. X variable is in list one, that's right, and the second variable is in list two. Excellent. If not, we must leave it like this. Two variables in list, uh, the, 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 the X in list one and the Y in list two. Done, so go back. And now we press reg x. In some calculators, another more f1 is required. And here you have all the values that you need to complete this question. Here you have your r, your correlation coefficient for Pearson, that is 0 0.667. Remember to round up to three significant figures always. So r would be r would be 0. 667. Okay. Now explain what a positive value for the coefficient of correlation indicates. Okay. Well, that that the positive value for R indicates that when X increases, Y increases. So this indicates uh, that when X increases, Y increases. Okay. Done with this. Now it says, write down the linear regression equation, the equation for the regression line. And that is something very easy to do if we look at the calculator. We have something here that it says y equals ax plus b, and a is this number and b is this number. So our regression line will be y equals 0 0.181 times x plus b, and b is this number, so 2.22. So our regression line would be something like y equals 0 0.181x plus 2.22. Remember to round up to three significant figures. And this is our regression line. Now it says in part four, use your equation in part three to determine the stress rating for a student who, take, who takes three quarters of an hour to travel to school. Okay, so three quarters of an hour would be like having here in minutes a 45 and looking for the y of that. And we can do it by substituting 45 in our x in the equation for the regression line. So that would be, that would be the, the stress rating y would be equal to 0 0.181 times, 44, times 45 plus 2.22. So we do it in the calculator. So we do for the menu for calculation, that's menu number one, and we do 0 0.181 uh, times x, times x, and in this case x is 44, 45, plus 2.22. That would be 10.4. This is our result. 10.4. Remember to round up to three significant figures. 10.4. Okay, done. Part 5. Can your answer in part 4 be considered reliable? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, and this is always the same. Same if it's reliable or not, so yes or no may appear. 
and then the reason. In this case, look, we have values for travel time for 13, 36, 20, but nothing near 45, that was our estimation. So 45 is not inside the range of values that we have for the travel time. So 44 would be like not a reliable, our variable will not be a reliable one because 45 is not inside our range of values that we have for travel time. So we are going to, to write, no, uh, our estimation is not reliable, is not reliable because uh, 45 is not in the range of values that we have for the travel times, for the travel times in our in our exercise okay and just like that you get all eight points so be sure to when you use the calculator to round up to three significant figures and be sure to use the calculator property properly and you have the everything you need okay done